everybody, I'm the Gaming Plant, and welcome back to Danganronpa. Uh, we're back in, I'm pretty sure we're doing free time right now. Yeah, I want to leave. So let's go explore. Let's talk to people. Who wants to hang out? You're weird. Let's hang out. Um, Toko? What's your problem? What? Oh, I was just wondering what you were doing here. You should probably head to the dining hall, right? I, I know, I just need to prepare myself. Mentally. For what? What are you preparing yourself mentally for? Prepare yourself? What is she talking about? Uh, I'm so n nervous. What's she so nervous about? I don't know, but I guess we're going to the dining hall. Because... Why not? That's right, we were all meeting for community breakfast, weren't we? I forgot about that. Now I remember, though. We're good. Let's talk to you. You're the one who set it up. Okay, looks like everyone's here. So then, let's begin our first breakfast meeting. Quiet down and listen. Everyone, thank you for making time in your busy schedules to come together. I didn't make time for this shit. You dragged me here. I know I already mentioned this earlier, but... In order to get out of here, it is essential that we all cooperate with each other. And the first step is this breakfast meeting to allow us to become friends and build tr our trust. So from now on, let's all meet here in the dining hall every morning after the morning announcements. Now then, let's eat! You want me to eat breakfast with other people? I've never done that before. I'm not so sure. I mean, seriously? Yeah, it's been a while for me too. But more important. Well, anyway, did anyone happen to come up with any clues? Silence echoed through the out the dining hall. Seriously? Seriously? Nothing at all? Hey! Anything. It can be about how to get out or who's doing this. Nobody has anything? Are you okay with this? You are going to die. Huh? Huh? Do you understand? If you can't stop yourself from showing weakness in front of others, you will die. Stop it! What the hell? Don't even freaking joke about that! <laughs> I am not joking. Adaptability is survivability. Did I not say so? You'd better hurry up and adopt to the new life here. What the hell is this? Have you gone completely insane? Adapt to my new life here? Do you have any idea what you're saying? What? Yeah, sounds like the girl what? wants to live here. And hell, more power to her. But shit. shit. No way in hell I'm living here. I gotta get out of here. I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> sure, feel free. Okay, so nobody has any clues. What the heck? One thing I can tell is who, who is all behind this. Someone who's totally weird and messed up. Why else would we be trapped here in the first place? Hey, listen. Well, sure, it could be something like that. But for right now, actual clues are... Uh, um... Huh? What's up? Um, if you think in terms of people who are really abnormal or bizarre... Do you think maybe the person responsible for this could be a certain murderous fiend? Who is that? A murderous fiend? Chihiro, do you have some idea who might be behind all this? Mm. Well, maybe. I mean, I can't really be certain, but... Certainly is... C certainty is not a concern right now! I'll allow whatever remarks you have, you may! You may have! Let's see if I can talk better. Okay. Well... Have you guys heard of Genocide Jack? You mean that serial killer that's been in the news and all over the internet? The monstrous villain who murdered scores of victims in brutally bizarre fashion? The word bloodlust was left at each murder scene, written in the victim's own blood. Whoever it is, he's like a ghost. He strikes without warning and disappears without a trace. And on the internet, they started calling him Genocide Jack. That about covers it, I think. They say he's claimed over a thousand victims. That's just an urban legend though, right? I mean, even like 10 people would be totally insane. Anyway, whoever Genocide Jack really is, he's obviously some kind of super crazy killer. And if he really is his ultimate psycho, I wouldn't be surprised if we put together something like this. But, but like I said, I can't be certain. I don't have any evidence or anything, it's just a thought. Hey, hold on. But if they're the killer, isn't that like a killer? Isn't that like a killer of a problem for us? Ooh. Yeah. It's okay, everything's absolutely, positively, 100%, without a doubt, gonna be okay. Cause help's gonna be here soon, I'm sure of it. Huh? Help? Cause, I 
I mean? We've been stuck here for you days already, right? Nobody's been able to contact us, so I'm sure they're getting worried. I bet they called the police already. <laughs> Monokumo! The police? You're putting your faith in the police? What are you doing here? You guys? You guys? Seriously, do you understand what role the police exists to fill? All they're good for is being a foil. Playing against a villain or anti-hero or evil organization. The bad guys come along and destroy them. And that shows just how badass they really are. Are you sure you want to rely on such unreliable group of losers? I mean, come on. If you really, really want to get out of here, all you gotta do is kill. <laughs> Why the hell are you laughing? I'm just impressed at the total commitment to this whole act. You're still going on about that? You're fucking So, dead. Mr. Serial Killer Psycho Freak Bastard, what the hell do you want? Huh? Mr. Serial Killer Psycho Freak Bastard, huh? That's a pretty long name. German, maybe? Hey, come on. We know who you really are. <laughs> maybe if I ignore him, he'll just go away. You son hey, of don't bitch. ignore me, asshole! Hmm. Okay, okay, let's get back to business. Your life here has already begun, and a couple days have gone by, and nobody's killing anybody! I thought you kids were lazy and selfish, and here you are working together! But I'm totally bored! There's nothing you can say that'll make us start killing each other. I Wait, I think yes! Ding ding ding! I figured it out! In other words... All the mystery ingredients are here! Right people, right place! So why hasn't anyone killed anyone yet? That's what I couldn't understand, but I just realized there was one very important piece missing! What, what are you... If you want to know, I'll tell you. It's motive. It's so simple. I just have to give everyone a motive. Stop fucking motive? Around. What the fuck are you talking about? Hey, um... Oh, by the way, there's something I want to show you guys. You son of a Stop changing the goddamn subject. Hmm. I have a little video I'd like you all to see. Oh, oh but don't worry. It's not some pervy assault video or anything. Seriously, it's nothing like that. It's a special video for each of you showing what's going on outside the school. Outside the school? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, Miss Master's so important and patient today. Why don't you watch it and find out? Hmm. Here in the school, there's a specific place you can go that has everything you need to watch the video. Correct. Good, then we can go and watch the video right now. But before we do that, I'd like to know. Hmm. What are you? Why would you do something like this? What do you want from us? Hmm? What do I want from you? Well, if you must know... Yeah. Oh. That's all. Oh, that's all. Easy. Well, now. If you want to know more than that, you'll have to figure it out yourselves. Hmm. Do whatever you need to uncover the mystery hidden within the school. I won't try and stop you. <laughs> Because to be honest, it's entertaining as heck watching you guys search so desperately for answers. <laughs> so I guess I want amusement from you too. Um, He's gone. And once again, he left before we could find out anything useful. Is that right? Really, I think we learned something very useful. He has no intention of standing in the way of our pursuit of the truth. Interesting. However, perhaps. But what about the video he mentioned? I'm very curious to see what's going on. What's on it? That's true. Same here. Okay, so... Mondo started glancing around the dining hall. But when his gaze landed on me, he stopped. Hell yeah. Hey, Mikado. Check this out for us, would ya? Huh? Why me? Yo. Because you're the closest to the door. That's the rule, right? R rule? Jesus Christ. Hey. Hey. Hey, hey! Piece of shit! Hey! Stop fucking You around. see how passionately I'm begging you? What's the big deal? Just check it out real quick. Okay, I guess I'll get going then. Hell yeah. Awesome, thanks. I owe you one. Hey, um... If Mikado's going, I'm going with him. It's not safe to walk around this place alone. Yo. Yeah, sure thing. When... Then we're counting on both of you. If anything happens, just yell. I'll come running. Um... I can't decide if Mondo is totally dependable or completely terrible. Yeah, I have to say he's kind of both. He's not exactly a bad person, but I definitely can't say he's a good person either. So then, where's the specific place Monokuma mentioned? It must be somewhere you can watch DVDs, but... If this place is set up to watch DVDs, then... Then I know exactly where it is, clearly. 
Um, actually, it's is uh, it's very hard to miss. I wonder. I wonder if it's this. The TV room. I wonder. I'm just that good at solving mysteries. I guess that's a good thing, since that's what this game is. Huh, there's something inside this cardboard box. It's a bunch of DVDs. And each one has a label on it with someone's name. This must be the video for each of us, he mentioned. I better go tell everyone. She just ran off. I didn't follow after her. I just stood right there where I was. The DVD in front of me had robbed me of all awareness. I was rooted in place. I think I see something. Uh, you see something? Is it the box? It's the box. I, I know. What do you see? The monocam? The surveillance camera. I hate the idea that someone might be watching me right now. I have to keep in mind that it's against school regulations to mess with any of the cameras. As much as you get some of my alert nerves, I'd better leave it alone. Um, I, I see a thing. Uh, of course, I, I see a thing. I don't see a thing. Tab, where, what's the thing I see? This? Next to the monitor is a high-end DVD player. It'll probably play those DVDs, no problem. Maybe I'll just watch mine real quick before everyone else gets here. I sorted through the DVDs I found in the box and found one with my name on it. Then I slid it into the expensive looking player. I sat down and stared intently at the darkened screen and then... <gasps> I held out without realizing it and my heart started racing because of what I saw on that monitor. It was my family. You getting picked to attend Hope's Peak Academy is like a dream come true. Make sure you do your best. I'm so proud of you, son. But remember, don't push yourself too hard. Are you really watching this, Makoto? Good luck, okay? If that ended there, that would have been fine. A message of love and support. After leaving my family behind to attend Hope's Peak Academy, it would have given me hope. Given me strength. If this was a normal school, I would have been happy. If a little embarrassed. With my family's support to rely on, I would have been motivated to do even better. But here, now, it was totally different. I wasn't living in an ordinary school life. So I had a pretty strong feeling that the video wasn't going to end there. I hated having that feeling, but it turned out I was absolutely right. This time, I couldn't even make a sound. My voice just... died. Where'd everyone go? It looks like a war zone or something. As if in reply, a voice came floating out of the speakers. I recognized the voice, of course. It was him. Makoto Naegi accepted into Hope Peak Academy and his family who supported such a lucky boy. But it seems like Something happened to this family's well-being. Oh boy, this is bad. What could have possibly happened to this family's well-being? Look for the answer after graduation. Prick move, Monokuma. Prick move. What, what is this? What happened to everyone? I started trembling. I could feel the fear and anger building up inside of me like hot magma. God damn it! I slammed my fist against the desk over and over again. A single thought was racing through my mind. What else? How could I think about anything else? I have to get out of here. I have to get out right now. I need to make sure everyone's safe. Mikado? Mm. What happened? Make sure who's safe. I noticed everyone standing around the entrance to the AV room. They stared at me, faces full of confusion. Um, what's going on? Without a word, I pointed to the cardboard box. Is it? Like, is that what Monokuma was talking about? What does this mean? What's on them? They all gathered around the box. Each of them grabbed the DVD with their name on it. One by one, they each rushed to a monitor. It didn't take long for them to react. What the, what the fuck? Th this can't be real, right? It has to be fake, right? Yeah, no way it's real. <laughs> no way. I, I can't take it anymore. 
I can't take this anymore. Let me out of here. As soon as I saw the reactions, I knew they'd all seen something like what I'd seen. Nobody even bothered trying to hide their fear and confusion, except for her. Even now, she was totally calm. I see. I see. So this is what he meant by motive. He wants to fuel our desire to leave so that we're more likely to start killing each other. Yes, indeed. It is the classic prisoner's dilemma. Hmm? Huh? Hmm. Let me use an example. Imagine two countries are on the brink of war. But both countries want peace, and each commits to scaling back their forces as a sign of good faith. But there's a chance that one country may betray the other, so each country fears lowering their guard. The result is that neither scares back their forces, and they both end up betraying each other. Do you understand? In other words, the fear of the invisible treachery becomes the greatest enemy of stability. <laughs> that kind of sounds like us right now. Everyone says they'll work together, but in our hearts, we're all afraid someone might betray us. Hey. Don't put those awful thoughts in our head. That's exactly what they want us to do. Huh? You can't deny that. You can say that, but maybe you're thinking that once everyone drops their guard, you can just... Hey. What? Hey. This is exactly what Monokuma or whoever's behind this wants. They want us to fight, don't you see? Hey. Yeah, you're right. Hey. We all need to calm down. So Okay then, maybe we should start by all we should start by all just talking. Maybe we just talk about what we saw that'll help us get everything out of our system. Besides, I think we're all super curious, right? I wonder what was in everyone's video. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't curious. Hey, Sakaya. What was in your video? What's your problem? What's wrong? Just hurry up and tell us! Saya? I gently placed my hand on her shoulder. Stop it! She pushed my hand away and suddenly ran off. Saya! That's enough. Let her go. I, I can't do that. I have to go make sure she's okay. <laughs> I hate romantic comedies like this. I don't care what happens to her personally. What? That's because you're totally thoughtless. Um... I'm really worried. <sighs> then why don't you go do whatever you think you have to? We don't have to stick all of... We don't all have to stick around together, right? I hope you are well. Speaking of which, I have my own things to take care of. Goodbye. Everyone went their separate ways. But I don't have time to worry about them right now. I have to go find Saya. I gotta go. I, I gotta go find Saya. In the next episode. I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching. If you liked what you saw, press that like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to keep up to date with all my latest videos. Have a great day, and peace out.